let's see how to square a two-digit number that ends in five. Okay, let's see how to square a two-digit number, 55. How to square it? So here there are two digits on the number. On the right side is five and the left side is five. So the first thing what you need to do, multiply the number by itself on the right side. So the right side number is five. So multiply by itself. So five times five, 25. So what is the next thing you need to do? The next thing you need to do is, again, the number on the left side, that is another five, multiply by itself. Five times five is 25. Then add uh, the answer to that number. So 25 is the answer that you got and add the five on the left side. So the answer is 3025. Okay, let's look at a different example, 45. So again, as I said before, multiply the number by itself. So five times five, 25, write down that number first. And the second step is multiply the number on the left side. So the number on the left side is four. So multiply by itself, four times four, 16. So once you get that number, the answer, add that four. So 60 plus four is 20. So the answer is 20, 25. Okay, let's look at different examples. 75, what is 75 square or 75 times 75? As I said before, on the right side, add, uh, multiply the number by itself. So five times five, 25, write down the answer there, 25. The next step is seven times seven is 49. Then the answer, add the number to the seven. So 49 plus seven, is 56. Okay, let's look at different example. 95 times 95 or 95 squared. So the first thing right now you must be knowing what to do. 5 times 5, 25. And the second step, 9 times 9, 81. 81 plus 9 is equal to 90. So the answer is 90.25. This is how you square a two-digit number that ends in 5. Okay, let's see how to do a complicated multiplication here. So I have two numbers here. If 200 times 475, to do the complicated multiplication, the, the shortcut I'm going to tell is, the condition is one of the numbers should be an even number. So here, one of the number is even number, 200 times 475. So what do we need to do in this case? So the first number, there are two numbers here, 200 times 475. The first number is 200, and the second number is 475. So the first thing, what do we need to do? Divide the first number into half. So in other words, 200, 200 divided by 2. So that's the first thing you need to do. So the first number into half, so 200 divided by 2 is 100. And then double the second number. So when you double the second number, 475, when you double it, it's 950. Now multiply both numbers. 100 times 950. So the answer is, you know, 95, then add the two, three zeros. One, two, three, three zeros. Okay, let's look at the second example. Again, one of the number need to be an even number. There are two numbers, 250 times 500. Let's see how to do that, how to multiply two numbers, two big numbers. So the first things first, so you have to divide the number into half, the first number into half. So 250 divided by two is 125. That's the first thing. Then double up the second number. The second number is 500. When you double up, it's 1,000, right? So so now, when you multiply both numbers, 125 times 1,000, that's the answer. 125, then add three zeros. Let's see a simple example. How to multiply two numbers when it have zeros at the end? It's very easy most of the people they know it so the first thing you have to do is multiply two numbers that is 8 
times 3, these two numbers. So e times 3 is 24. Then add all the zeros. How many zeros are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. Just add it. 3, 4. So the answer is, this is the answer, 240,000. So how about when you add to, when you want to multiply these two numbers, which has zeros, first multiply these two numbers, 9 times 5, 45. Then add all the zeros. How many zeros are there? There are three zeros on the left side and three zeros on the right side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's a number. That's the answer. So let's look one more example if you want to if you want to check it again. So eighty thousand times uh, twenty thousand. So this is, a, this is what I want to do. First, you multiply these two numbers. So 8 times 2, 16. Then add all the zeros. How many zeros are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 on left side. 1, 2, 3, 4 on the right side. So total there are 8 zeros. You have to put it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's the answer. Let's see how we can add big numbers. So here I have 890 plus 240. The first thing what we can do here, we can round up. So 890 we can round up to 900 and 240 we can round up to 250. Now we know what is the answer, 900 plus 250. So it's, that's uh, 1150, 1150. So that is not the final, an final answer. If it's, uh, if it's 100 and if the answer is 1150, the answer is wrong because we know that when we rounded up, we added like 10 here and for 240, we added 10 there. So we added extra 20 here. So what we need to do, we need to subtract the extra number we added. So 20 we added, so 1150 minus 20, subtract 20 because we added 10 here and we added 10 here. So we subtract the extra numbers we added. So 1,150 minus uh, 20 is 1,130. That is the final answer. OK, let's see if that's correct or not. 0 plus 0, 0. 9 plus 4, 13. 8 plus 2, 10. 10 plus 1, 11. So 11, 30 is the final answer. Let's see how to add this number. So 545 plus 390. Let's round up, round up to 550, 550 plus 390, you can round up to 400. So the answer, you know, is 950. But when you round up, you added extra numbers. So you have to subtract that. You added 5 here and you added 10 here. So you need to uh, subtract 15 numbers from there, 15 from there. So the answer is 935. Is the answer 935? 5 plus 0, 5. 4 plus 9, 13, 5 plus 3, 8 plus 1, 9. So the answer is 935. Some of the kids, they have a hard time to remember the multiplication table of 9. But there is a very easy way we can remember the multiplication table of 9. 1 times 9 is 9. Likewise, like there is an easy way we can do it here. So starting from 9, write down all the way from 9 to 0. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. If we write down from uh, top to bottom. Right now, let's write from the bottom to the top in the other way. So we are going to write 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and, sorry, 8 was there before, right? So just add 1. So that's it. This is a multiplication table of 9. 1 times 9, 9, 2 times 9, 18, 3 times 9, 27, 4 times 9, 36, 7 times 9, 63, 
8 times 9 72, 9 times 9 81, 10 times 9 90. Let's see how to uh, multiply a uh, two digit number with 11. Only up to two digits number. So it's very easiest way. So now the question is 11 times 35. So what do we need to do? We need to write down 35. What are the number you want to multiply it? Write it down there and leave a space between. So I'm going to write 3 and leave a space in between because like since in Excel I don't want to leave a space in between so I'm just putting an underscore and I will remove the underscore later so so write down 35 like that then we need to add those numbers 3 plus 5 8 so the answer is 385 so so how about 11 times 9 95 so we know that we need to write down the number first just the multiplication number so it's 95 so 9 and I want to leave a space since it's an Excel I am I cannot leave a space I'm leaving an underscore there so I'm writing down the number here 95 like that so here when I add it 9 plus 5 14 I cannot write 14 in the middle because the answer is going to be wrong so if it add up to a two digit number so what do we need to do so right now the number when you add it is 9 times 9 plus 5 equal to 14. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to write 4 there, or 14 I'm writing down 4 there, and the remainder 1 I'm going to add the 1 to the 9. So that is 1045. I will show you one more example. 11 times 85, then it will be more clear. So write down 85 like this and leave a space in between. So that is 85. So the number when you add it, it's 13. We cannot write 13 in the middle because if you write 13, the answer is going to be wrong. So what I'm going to do here, so I'm going to write 13, the three here, and you have one left. So I'm going to add that one to eight. So the answer is 935. That's the answer. One more example I can show here, 11 times 75 you write down 75 leave a space in between so when you add the number it's 12 7 plus 5 12 we cannot write 12 there so what I'm going to write it here I am going to write 2 there and the other one I am going to add 1 to 7 so it's 8 8 or 9 25 okay, let's see how to do the percentage of 5 it's very easy the first thing 5 percentage of 42,000. So the first thing what we need to do, move the decimal point over by one place. So 42,000 becomes 4,200.0. Right? So what we need to do after that, divide 4,200 divide by the number 2. So it is a 2,100. So 5% of 42,000 equal to 2100. Let me show you a different example. So again, as I said, move the decimal point over by one place. So 96,000 becomes 9600.0. So now divide 9600 by the number 2. So uh, what is that? 4,800. So the answer is 4,800. So let's see what is how to do the 84,500. 84, so first, as I said, multiply the, I'm sorry, uh, move the decimal point over by one place. So 8,450.0. Now, what we need to do, we need to divide 8,450 by the number 2 that becomes 4225 so the answer is 4225 so now I want to show you how to multiply these two numbers 94 times 96 84 times 86 63 times 67 43 times 47 34 times 36 there is an easy way you can do the mental math here how to do that let me show you so the condition for this in order to work it out I'll show let me show you the answer first 
So the answer for this is 90, 24. Okay, let me see, uh, let me show you how I got the answer. So in order to work with this condition, both of the 10 digits, both of the numbers 10 digits should be same. So here 94 times 96, both numbers, the 10 digits are same because 9 here and 9 here. One more condition, when you add the ones place, like there is 4 here, and six here, when you add it, the ones place addition added number should be 10. So here, in this case, 4 plus 6 equal to 10. So if you see any of the numbers, if you want to multiply any of the numbers like this, so it's very easy. First, a 9, so take the first number. How we are going to do it? So first, 9, the next number of 9 is 10. So multiply that number. So 9 times 10 equal to 90 and then multiply these two numbers the 4 and 6 is equal to 24. Hope you got it. So here in order for the condition to work as I told you before the ones digits should be same. So here 8 and 8 okay and then when you add the ones place it should be 10. So 4 plus is equal to 10. So now let's do the multiplications. So the next number of 8 is 9. So 8 times 9, 72. Write down that number first. Then multiply these two numbers. 4 times 6, 24. So again, the condition 6 times 7, 42. And now multiply 3 times 7, 21. Okay, now the next next multiplication. 4 times y, 20. And uh, 7 times 3, 21. So 34 times 36. So 3 times 4, 12, and 4 times 6, 24.